Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are testing out a fall build that I might move on to my fall city island. As we get started into today's build, I also want to disclaim my headset broke and I usually record my videos with a headset. So my audio might sound a little different than usual. I apologize for that. I'm slowly saving up for a replacement, but officially it broke the other day. So we're just gonna roll with this video and hope that everyone everything turns out okay audio wise. Anyways, we're gonna be doing a seafood cafe and boat dock area. I really wanted to test this build out somewhere where I had plenty of space. So we're working on a flat island that I have today. Several people reached out to me asking if I had any idea on how to do like a fall themed location that has like a dock area and a cafe. I figured I would go ahead and tackle this request because I don't really know what my plan is with my actual fall island. Like I'm kind of just winging things and seeing what happens. I honestly don't know why, but I'm really struggling with our current fall island. And it's not because I don't like the theme and I'm not inspired. I think it's just because I don't really have a set plan or vibe for it yet. So I figured maybe I would go ahead and tackle this request today in hopes that it would help me determine sort of the vibe that I want to go for on that island. When I was working on this build today, I also thought that this would look really nice connected to one of my rivers. Mouse. So in summary, today's build actually really helped me out because now I have another spot on this island planned out. So I'm definitely going to relocate everything that we did today onto my current island and of course make any adjustments for it. I'm not sure what my space is on the right side of my map, but I do think today's build would suit my current island really well. So y'all let me know your thoughts in the comment section below if you think we should add this to our current fall city. So for the first structure, we're just going to go really simple and just use two different colors of storefronts. I wanted to keep this part of the build pretty small, just in case if y'all need this to hide the edge of your map, or maybe you just need it as a filler area. I just didn't want this location to take up too much space because I don't even know what's planned for my own island, and I know that I usually run out of space really fast, so the more space, the better. For the boat dock area, we're just gonna go with, I think, about four storefronts, and then I'm gonna rotate with the red color on the top part of this build. I just wanna keep my color palette really neutral with like hints of like fall colors throughout the island. Also, if you're recreating this build, push back the storefronts about two tiles because later in the video, I had to make an adjustment to be able to fit the yacht item in. So do keep that in mind that near the end of this video, we are gonna be making some structural like adjustments. So before I start detailing this area, we're gonna start figuring out how I want the structure for our seafood cafe to look. Keep in mind that this took me a few trials to like figure out how I wanted it. So there will be some transitions just because I changed my mind on the layout so many times. I don't know why, but I struggled so much with this building, but I ended up going for something simple with just medieval walls and storefronts. I did a combination of medieval walls on the top level mixed with some castle items. And then I did these storefronts on the bottom. Even though the structure looks like it's finished right now, at least base wise, it's not even close to being done because I end up spiraling during this video and changing my mind again. I don't think this option is bad at all, but I just really liked how the second option that I did later in the build turned out. So what I ended up changing was adding some storefronts behind the castle gate, which not only filled in behind there, but added also a really nice subtle detail to the build. I thought that this was a better solution because then you still get that location filled in and very cafe looking, but also you're not using simple panels. When you're using so many simple panels in one location, builds will start to last quite a bit. So this type of solution ended up actually reducing the lag in this build and I think it also made it feel a lot more realistic. Then next to the castle gate I'm gonna be adding a customized display shelf and then we're just gonna put a plant partition in front of it and this is just gonna serve as a little window for our cafe and then we can start detailing the patio. For the next stage of the build we're gonna start working on the details for our little patio area. Also I know that there was a few transitions and y'all might be kind of lost 
embossed on the structure of this cafe and all I did was terraform and then in front of the terraform we do medieval walls then it goes the storefront and then those castle gates in front of the storefront for the top level I just kind of messed around with the castle walls and medieval walls to kind of do like an off-centered look so some of the castle walls are off-centered in a way so just play around with the layout and figure out what you like best and I will definitely get a better view of that top level later in the video but for now we're gonna start focusing on the details of our little cafe area the bench table placement was actually inspired by Arigo Alley we actually use their codes quite a bit on my channel so I will have them linked in the videos description but I just really love how it definitely felt more realistic having those two little tables together because many times when you go to restaurants they end up pushing the tables together if you have more people in your party so I just really thought that was such a cute detail and I knew I wanted it for today's build too. For the next stage of our video, we're gonna start working on the dock area a little bit more, and that is by adding some details, and of course, adding some boats, because you can't have a boat dock without your boats. So now we're gonna start working on these two individual docks, and I'm just gonna go for like a simple little display with a couple of yachts and different items. Then we'll start detailing in front of the storefront location of our dock too. I'm also gonna extend the wooden dock coat out just a little bit over here, because I thought over in this location, another boat would be a really good detail and of course it fills in some more space and also adds to our dock location too so I'm gonna add a few more safety railings and then place one more yacht before working towards the storefront location of the build so far I'm really enjoying how this build turned out I definitely want to have it somewhere on my actual island and of course I hope that this video so far has brought you a ton of Animal Crossing inspiration so before we go detail the rest of the build I'm gonna go ahead and just add some leaf piles and other items around the dock I'm also gonna go ahead and blend out where the bridges are just a little bit more but so far I think that this build has really come together. I think that this would also be a lovely transitional spot that maybe you could add a roadway maybe on the right side if you didn't want to do more buildings. I personally think that I'm going to do more shops to the right side and then it would transition to a roadway with a couple of villagers. I'm kind of tempted to keep this map and have the build where it's at already as is, but I know many of y'all wanted to see that natural entry finish. Anyways, before this video ends, I did want to let y'all know that I am planning to start finally my winter Japanese city. I am very inspired for it right now. I've been trying so hard to wait as long as possible to start this island but just in case if I get burnt out on the fall castle city I really want to have an island that I'm passionate about and excited to do so my plan is to get that island to three stars and either do a video on it or stream it and then we can finally start working on that island just in general I will still be working on my fall city I just want to have a backup plan in case I get burnt out because sometimes when I go through an island I learn the hard way that I'm not inspired or it's just not for me I am really enjoying my fall castle city I just might rethink some layouts that I've already done. But in general, we are definitely still gonna keep trying to get this castle city to happen. I hope that today's video brought you some Animal Crossing inspo. Before today's video ends, I do wanna give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. With that being said, thank y'all so much for watching and have a horrible day.